What's up everybody, Enosh here for the Poindexter Lounge. Uh, it is so good to have you with me today and today I'm just doing a quick little video about something that just came out and that is this breaking story of uh, the new Shazam photo coming out, the first official Shazam photo that we're getting. Now I know that there have been other photos uh, that have come out uh, that have been kind of like on the set photos and pictures taken from afar, but this is the first real photo that we get. There was a promo uh, picture that was released with uh, Captain Marvel uh, drinking a drink and uh, had tickets to a to the Deadpool movie, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, this is the first official uh, picture that we're getting with a nice look at Shazam himself, all right? And so, uh, if, like I said, if this is your first time joining me here on uh, the Poindexter Lounge, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope that you like the content. If you do, please give us a thumbs up just so that we know that you are enjoying uh, the content that we put out on a daily basis, all right? And also, hey, if you're here, subscribe, you know? We'd love to have you be uh, part of this community and be a part of what we're doing here and obviously if you if you subscribe you're interested in what we're doing so hit that notifications bell so that you know when we put out new videos okay and we do that every day so let's talk about this photo I, I really dig this photo because I think this photo really it takes me back to when I was like you know 12 to 14 years old and if I got superpowers how I would react you know I'd be standing there with my best friend outside a party store uh, drinking a pop and just and just having fun man just just enjoying life and I think that that's what this movie is gonna be about everything I've seen so far and and heard kind of points to that that it's almost gonna be like uh, the movie big with Tom Hanks in that it's gonna be a, a story about a kid you know and that's the story of Captain Marvel anyways is a story about uh, a kid who gains these superpowers very much like Superman you know very godlike and you know like what is what do you do with it you, when you still have the mentality of a 14 year old what do you do with those kind of powers and so I think you're gonna see this very light-hearted take on uh, on the DCEU and I think that, 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 that that's a good thing because a lot of people have complained about the darker tones of the DCEU and uh, I think this is, this will show that it's not just about being dark that there are many facets to the DC universe and that uh, you can have you know Batman the Dark Knight um, and a movie like Batman versus Superman that is very serious in tone and 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 the way that it was but then you can have a movie like Shazam which is very lighthearted and kid friendly and then you know it goes to show you if this movie is a success you know like there are plenty of other characters out there that um, add humor and this lightheartedness I mean I'm, I'm thinking like you got like Plastic Man can you imagine seeing a Plastic Man movie in the DCEU I actually can you know and then so after this movie then we've got another Wonder Woman movie we've got Aquaman coming up next year or this year actually Aquaman's coming up this year and then we get Shazam and then uh, Wonder Woman after that so I'm really looking forward to this movie. I think the costume on this looks great. Take a look at this costume, man. It 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 looks it is so accurate to what Captain Marvel should be, to what Shazam should be, um, just in every way. I, and you know, I don't mind the bulkiness of it. I know a lot of people have complained, saying, "Oh, it's too bulky. It looks fake and stuff." That's what this is all about. That's what Captain Marvel is. Is that you know? It's about a kid's idea of what a superhero should be and would look like. And so you know, so we get that. And uh, lately, I've been watching um, the uh, Justice League, uh, the new the new Justice League uh, cartoons. And Captain Marvel is actually featured uh, a few times, and I've enjoyed those episodes. And I know that I'm going to enjoy this movie. And, and I hope that you do too. Because uh, I think that it's going to be great. It comes out April 5th, 2019. And so that just cannot get here soon enough. Now also Comic-Con. Uh, San Diego Comic-Con is coming up uh, later this month. And there is talk that we may get our first trailer for this movie at Comic-Con. And I'm hoping so. Uh, it looks like we're going to get that trailer uh, for for uh, Aquaman at Comic Con, and it would be really great, at least to see a teaser trailer even for Shazam. Now, uh, the only thing that I can even say about Shazam that it would be any kind of negative at all is, to me, his name is not Shazam. He is Captain Marvel, and I know that there's all been all kinds of back and forth with with that with with Marvel, but you know, Cap, this Captain Marvel, Shazam, he came first, and he's one of the, he's one of those early superheroes, guys. That that um, you know, back in the day, DC actually sued because of Captain Marvel because they said he was so much like Superman, uh, you know. But he's called the Big Cheese, you know. He he's uh, 
he is who he is. And to me, he'll always be Captain Marvel, no matter what else goes on or what other characters. You know, Marvel Comics can have their Captain Marvel. I think there's there's enough room in the world for two Captain Marvels, but obviously, the the suits up in the, the up in the high towers they they want to uh, distinguish their characters, and so they call him Shazam now. But he looks great. I think the costume looks good. I think that um, uh, we we could see some great things down the line from this franchise, and I really look forward to a sequel to this where we finally get to see Shazam take on Black Adam uh, in the form of the Rock. Right. I, I, I think we've all been looking forward to that. And uh, I don't know why he's not going to be in this movie, but I, I hope that this movie is good enough that we get that sequel with The Rock. We did a video last week here on the channel talking about stuff like that, about prequels and TV shows and movies where they don't uh, show us the villains that we want to see. Just kind of like uh, Green Lantern would have been a whole lot better if Sinestro had been the main villain. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen with this movie where we wish that we'd gotten the rock right away at black Adam. Um, but you know, that remains to be seen, but Hey, what do you think? Are you excited about this? Does this picture get you, get you excited for, uh, for seeing Shazam next year? And do you think that this is a good turn for the DCEU? Please let me know down in the comment section. All right, leave a comment or go to Twitter at Enosh music and, uh, let's keep the conversation going there. All right. Because that's why I started this channel was to have conversation with fellow nerds and geeks and people who love the stuff that I love. All right. And I love this. So let's talk about it until next time. My name is Enosh, AKA, Enosh Fett, and um, we'll see you.